What interests you in writing songs about science? Uh, I've always been interested in science. Uh, my dad is a kind of guy who knows all about science. When you're, you know, when you're a kid growing up and you want to know something, some dads are happy to tell you all kinds of interesting things. And uh, so that's the kind of family I grew up in. And so I, I read a lot of science and I studied some science in school. I ended up majoring in art and art history at a liberal arts college. But, uh, and then after doing art, f after college for about 10 years, I sort of got sucked into my record collection and, uh, and uh, tried to, as I say, take my, take my science background and my interest in, in uh, pushing boundaries from the art world, that's what you do in art, visual art, uh, and, and apply that towards music. On the 26 Scientist CDs, how did you choose which scientists to feature? Well, I tried to pick scientists, uh, some scientists that were well known and people would be excited to hear about because they, because they already knew about these scientists, like Einstein and Darwin. And then I also tried to pick scientists nobody had heard about, um, like Jan Ingenhaus, or, or women scientists that there weren't enough of or perhaps we don't know enough about the ones that there were. So Mary Anning, the first female paleontologist, she found an ichthyosaur on the beach in England, and she was a major resource for the uh, more wealthy men who studied science at the time, but she was uh, very skilled and very intelligent and able to help them figure out how the bones fit together and um, how fossils could show them about history and about dinosaurs.